Hi guys, it's Steph here again, and what do we have for you here today? Well, what we have is a very, very nice Estabrook Relief number 2L fountain pen. Now, this particular Estabrook Relief fountain pen was actually made by Conway Stewart. Now, the relief pens were made around about, don't quote me, but around about from the 1930s through to about the 1950s. Now, the, this, this, this pen, um, as we'll show in a moment, because of the, um, the barrel imprint on it, I, I date it maybe sort of 1940s, maybe even getting on for 1950s. The earlier models were made um, in black hard rubber. I believe this one um, is made of the, well, standard sort of black plastic material. Now, when they, when they actually brought these particular pens out, the relief models, there was numerous different models. Um, as I say, this particular one is the number 2 L. Now, the L stands for this being a lever fill fountain pen. They also brought out a... A relief number 2S, which was a what they term as a stud filler or a button filler. And last but not uh, least, they brought out an L2R, um, which they termed as a regular, but it was actually an eyedropper fountain pen. But this, this one, as we said, is the number 2L, which again is a lever fill fountain pen. Um, they brought them out earlier on in black hard rubber some of them had chasing patterns some of them had um, a red band to the very top just above the clip here um, as, we, as we said earlier this one I, I believe to be plastic later on they brought them out in numerous different colours in different marbles um, I believe they brought out a nice um, snake skin effect one as well but um, what we have, as I say, in this particular instance is the number 2L Estabrook Relief. Again, I'm dating it maybe sort of late 1930s, maybe 1940s. I don't know exactly, so if you want to send a message or comment, then please do. Now, the size of this particular pen from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel, um, it's, it's approximately 130 millimeters um, capped. Um, around the sort of the barrel here, it's quite a hefty 3.6 millimeters in diameter. Now, as you can see, this particular pen is in absolutely gorgeous, uh, gorgeous condition. I've just literally just finished it. It's been fully restored, clean, new sack, etc. In absolutely beautiful condition. As we said earlier, it comes with this. A lot of you will recognise the clip there. It's a very, very similar clip to the um, the Conway Stewart with a with a rounded end there. To the cap here, you'll see that we've got this quite a thin um, cap band to the bottom here, and to the top, what we have um, is this. Well, what they term as this teardrop clip, and if I just show it to you close up. I'll keep it nice and still. It has the word relief written on the clip itself. And to the very top there, you can see it's got this domed black stud to the top. As I say, some of the models had a little red band to the top there, but what we're doing is just concentrating on this particular pen. Now, if I show you the, the imprint. Now, the reason I believe this is actually the plastic version is that if we show you the imprint, again I'll need to look over my camera and keep it a little bit still. Um, what you'll notice that the imprint on this particular one actually reads R Estabrook and Company. And then underneath it's got the word Relief. And then just below there it's got the number 2, um, number 2L, which again is the model, is the model number. So by the fact that this has actually got the R Estabrook and Company imprint um, tells me it's the later plastic version. I believe the earlier ones just simply had Estabrook on the barrel. Now, 
if we undo the cap, which is a screw on cap, let's show you the pen in different sort of different angles if you like, in absolutely lovely, lovely condition. As I say, we've fully restored it. Well, we'll see in a moment it should be in full working order. If we take you up to the the section there, you've got a slightly sort of concaved section there, quite longish, good for a good grip on it. Now if we show you the nib here, now I need to keep it very still, what we have on the nib, it actually says relief 14 carat number 2 and then underneath it has made in England and then actually on, underneath that, you may not see it on this because it may be sat in the in the sort of in the in the section itself. It has Estabrook and Company to the very bottom. So a very nice a very nice nib. These particular nibs are quite are supposed to be renowned for for nice writers. Now the relief, I believe, tells us that the nibs are actually oblique. And if you look there, you can see we've got a slight oblique to the top, to the very tip of the nib there. So, we'll, again, they're supposed to be quite renowned to be lovely writers, which we'll see, we'll see in a moment. Underneath there, you can see it's got the feed. The feed is, again, for you people that like Conway Stewart's, you'll see that it's got the, well, I'd say the Conway Stewart feed underneath there. Okay, so all in all, as we said, a lovely pen with this relief or this ob oblique nib to this to this pen. Now, let's bring on some some ink. Um, this is the first time I've tested it since I finished it this morning. So, what we do is dip the dip the nib into the ink, pull on the lever. I'm looking over the camera there. I can see lots of bubbles. So. Just by the fact that we've got lots of bubbles up to now everything looks hunky dory let's bring on pad and let's give it a writing sample so what we have here is a Estabrook as we said this one is the relief fountain pen it is a number to dash L which tells us that this particular one as I said earlier is a lever filler and we're dating the pen well to be honest with you let's I'm going to leave it totally open from 1930s through to the 1950s but in my eyes it should be somewhere sort of in between if you like maybe I don't know maybe 1940s maybe somebody will actually tell us as we, as we said earlier, we've got a lovely oblique nib, so if I put some pressure on the downward stroke, we've got a nice variation of line. The pen is actually a very nice, smooth writer. So it's quite true what, if you like, what they say about these particular nibs. It's a lovely writer. With a little bit of variation as well very smooth to write with so there's a writing sample as you can see we're getting you know a nice variation in in the line so there we have it this absolutely stunning Estabrook relief number two fountain pen number two l or lever fountain pen in absolutely beautiful condition um i've actually fully restored it it's well it's as if it just came out of the factory. Absolutely lovely. Um, quite a large, quite a large pen actually. So for you people that have got large hands, this could be the pen for you. So there we have it, the Estabrook Relief Fountain Pen. I hope you've enjoyed looking at it as much as I enjoy showing them to you. Don't forget, I've got loads and loads of videos. Go and have a look. Leave a comment. Um, don't be shy, but for now, I'm just going to say bye-bye now.